June 21st, 3.24pm, Curain Village. Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Ace Attorney. Uh, last time we saw the first trial part of uh, this case, Reunion and Turnabout, so now we're going back to investigation. And we want to figure out what the heck happened in the channeling chamber, because we have no idea. Actually, I know what happened, I've played the game before, but... I'm not going to spoil anything. Thank you very much for bringing me home, Mr. Nick. You're welcome. I had to come and look into a few things here today anyway. Um, I thought about this a little. Hmm? If Mystic Maya didn't kill that nice man... She definitely didn't. Y yes, of course. But if she didn't, then someone else did, right? Um, that murderer person. Yes, Pearls. Oh, I see. I wonder what's wrong. She seems sad. This music doesn't fit at all. She's so sad and the music is so happy. So, what did you think of seeing your first trial? I was really surprised. I had never seen so many people before. Oh. And Mystic Maya looked so small and helpless. Well, Maya's already naturally short, so... And then that snobby woman with the roughly clothes. Roughly? Oh, she means Franziska. She had such a bad attitude. She acted like she'd already decided that Mystic Maya did it. I am going to tell her what I think of her tomorrow. I wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the world. Why was that woman bullying Mystic Maya? Well, she's the opposite of a lawyer, a prosecutor, so her job is to prove people guilty. They don't care if someone's innocent, all they care about is if they win. That's terrible! But, but, she's really a good prosecutor with a heart on the inside, right? There's no one like that. All prosecutors are the same. Well, he might have become a good guy. Eventually. Why did you put the pronouns in scare quotes? What are you implying, Phoenix? <laughs> he? Who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Is it that person Mystic Maya was talking about? Mr. Edgeworth? That was a long time ago. He's not around anymore. Huh? He clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely, and died for it. Uh, oh, that's too bad. I think we're, like, exposing Pearl to a lot of, like, very inappropriate situations. A lot of murder, a lot of death. This doesn't seem like something we should be doing. By the way, Yes? What is it? Um, you wouldn't happen to know anything about who the murderer is, would you? Why are you asking me? No, I was just thinking earlier. I didn't see anything. She didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearls and what was she doing? And on top of that, this key. Just when did she pick this up? I just realised I never asked you what you were doing at the time of the crime. Pearls, where were you and what were you doing when the murder happened? Ah. Uh, what what was, was I doing? Uh, I, I wasn't do doing anything. She's really bad at lying. You can whisper it to me. I won't tell anyone else, I promise. Ah! Um, I guess you can see through my lie, huh? Yeah, clearly. I can't lie to you, can I, Mr. Nick? Uh, we will need to find some more evidence before we can figure out what Pearl's alibi was. It is important to the case, so we're not just bullying this child for no reason. We are kind of bullying this child anyway, which I don't really like. <sighs> 
June 21st, Fay Manor, meditation room. It's really empty. Training was supposed to be held today, but I guess it's already over. June 21st, Fay Manor, channeling chamber. Hmm, looks like Morgan's here too, but she hasn't noticed me yet. What is she doing? Looks like she's talking to a picture? Wow, she looks evil. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. I've waited for this day for so long. That's right. Prepare yourself, dear Misty. What in the... Who's there? Oh, if it isn't Mr. Wright. Um, just curious, but that picture you were just looking at... Oh, today was that event, was it not, good sir? I hear- I heard you did well. Huh. Huh? Oh, yes, thank you. I am terribly sorry I could not attend the trial today. Please accept my apology. I had a previous engagement, as I had to watch over the trainees training today. I get the sense she really doesn't want to talk about the picture. All because the Master can't be here with us, you understand. And that is why a lowly branch family member such as myself must do this. Have you remembered anything about the murder? No, I told you everything I know already. Were you in this room the whole time Lotta and I went to call the police? Yes, of course. I was by Miss Digmire's side the entire time. I performed the spirit severing technique and held her in my arms afterward. I don't remember what Morgan's voice was in the previous videos, because it's been a while. Hopefully I'm getting it okay. And if it's different, hopefully it's better. So, we'll see. Hmm, you said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? I would like to say more did. However, that is all that occurred. Ah, uh, I was really hoping for some new info. I suppose nothing happened in the end, good sir. Sorry to have played on your hopes. Could you possibly be more patronizing? So do the students train every day? Yes, absolutely. They were given a day off the day after the murder, of course. However... And I assume both Maya and Pearls went through this training? Mr. Wright. Ah, yes, yes. Wow, she got real scary real fast. How many times must I tell you before you understand, good sir? They are to be addressed as Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. S sorry, I, I meant Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Wait, I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit too far? Next question, please. Oh man, she's really being a pain in the butt about this. Please remember to watch not only what you say, but how you say it, good sir. I mean, yeah, you should address them using proper honorifics, I including if they're children. What, what, what? I know Pearl is a tiny child, but you're supposed to address her as mystic. Oh god. <sighs> so the master is um, Maya's mother, right? Mystic Misty. She is a brilliant medium. And where is she now? We are not sure. Not sure? About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed at channeling a certain spirit. And after that, she simply disappeared. I don't believe she will return to this village, in any case. And in four years' time, her name will be forever erased from this village. Erased? A person who has been away from the village for over 20 years considered dead. Oh, I see. And that is four years from now for her. When that happens, a new master will be appointed to Kurain Village. And... Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. However, with this... murder, I'm afraid... I must be imagining things. I thought she was laughing to herself for a second there. Yes, yeah, she's incredibly suspicious, and that's not for no reason. <laughs> oh my god. June 21st, Fay Manor, Winding Way. Looks like there's no one here. 
And even though the weather is gorgeous today, it's raining inside my heart. Wow, poetic. It's really all done. There are the ashes of a person long dead inside. It looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting, so time to move on. Okay, it's kind of important, so maybe look at it some more, Phoenix? Or don't. Alright. <laughs> June 21st, Fay Manor, side room. The bedding is all laid out today, too. Guess I'll leave them alone for now. Uh, can I look at the box? Hmm, I keep wondering about this box. I'm sure this wasn't here before the murder took place. It looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, we don't have enough evidence to prove what's going on with Pearl yet. Uh, if we have a look at our evidence here, we've got a bunch of stuff, but we don't have what we need. So we're going to need to go some other places. Here, for example. So that's another two-hour train trip to get back to our offices. June 21st, Wright & Co. Law Offices. This case has had me out of the office most of the time. I can come back tomorrow. Helping Maya should be my top priority now. Why did you waste two hours to come here, then? Charlie, a quite decorative plant. He's a handful, but I've grown quite attached to the little fella. He also helps me to remember all the good times with Mia. Oh, so sweet. You should water Charlie while you're here. You keep going out of the office. June 21st, detention center, visitor's room. Maya must still be in questioning. She'll probably be done in a little bit, so I'll come back later. So yeah, I just spent a four hour round trip to do nothing and get back to the village. <laughs> um... I guess I'll try presenting the Megatama, but I don't think I have the evidence I need. Pearl's Alibi. Pearl, you have to tell me what you were doing when the murder happened, okay? Um, but what if I can't just tell you what happened? Then I'll guess what happened. How does that sound? What? Y you can do that? You'll tell me if I guess something right, won't you? Y yes Now, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? You were here, weren't you, Pearls? You were here, weren't you, Pearls? In the winding way? W wow, y you got it! So, do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry, not yet Man, oh man. Alright, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. D do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. Now, what was it Pearls was doing in the winding way? Well, I know, but I don't have the evidence for it yet, so we do have to stop. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Gosh, she's so cute. With that little cutie pie. Uh, maybe we can get something from Morgan? I don't remember is the problem here. Um, maybe if we ask her about something here? Hmm. Ask about the key, maybe? This. This is the key to this room. That's right. But why do you have it, good sir? That, I'm not telling. R return it at once. I... I can't. It's evidence, after all. I think she knows exactly how important this key is to this murder. But what is this feeling I'm getting from her? It feels... hmm... I can't describe it. Okay, so that didn't help us at all. Uh... Maybe I also got the folding screen? There are six parts to the Curane sacred writings. To think that this valued treasure of our village and Mystic Maya were both shot by a gun. Well, that's... Even if it was something that occurred during a channeling, it is an unforgivable act. 
Okay, uh, I don't think I can get any information out of her. What do you think about this? I am terribly sorry, but I am afraid my spiritual powers are not as strong as you might think. I really am terribly sorry. Um, this has nothing to do with your spiritual power. Yeah, I'm really not sure where to go next. Um, nothing in the winding way. Nothing in the side room. Maybe I can show Pearl something I didn't show her before? Let's, let's have a look. Maybe the key? About this key, Pearls. You found it on the day of the murder, right? Yes. Now, where you found this key is very important. So, please tell me, Pearls, where did you find this? Um... I found it in the incinerator. The incinerator? Hmm, she's talking about the one in the garden? The door on it was a little open, so I took a peek. When was that? It was after the channeling, when everyone was in a panic. Hmm. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes? Are you going to tell my mother? Huh? You mean, tell Morgan what you did? Yes, if she finds out I was playing the leftover trash, I'll get a spanking. Ah, gotcha. Well, let's keep it a secret from her then, alright? Hmm, the incinerator, huh? Sounds like a good place to search next. Okay, this is a little weird because talking to Pearl has now changed the state of the incinerator. You can see that there's some purple stuff poking out of it now. June 21st, Fay Manor, Winding Way. Hey, there's someone by the incinerator. Ooh, looks like they've noticed me. And are now running at top speed towards me. Oh hey! Huff huff, I forget I forget Amy's voice as well. Like <sighs> you're that dentist guy. Actually, it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nice to see you again. Oh, like real suave. So it's like my turn. It's nice to see you too. So what's up? You're out of breath. Like, huh? Oh, like you mean, like, I'm just totally happy and, like, totally excited to be here. Excited? Like, I mean, there are so many things to, like, see. It's, like, the real deal here. I really hope this voice matches what I was saying before, Rainy. Oh, really? For example? For example, like, that urn over there. Do you, like, know about it? All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. Okay, let's look at the furnace incinerator first. That's right. Pearl said she found this key inside the incinerator. I guess I should take a look inside for myself. Th this this is from Maya's costume. There's blood on it. A tiny bit, but still. Cloth scrap added to the court record. Okay, now let's talk to Eni. Is there some sort of legend connected with that urn? Like, yeah, it's like this village's treasure. Huh, didn't know that. And like, it's sealed inside that urn. Um, it's? What are you talking about? Like, you know, a Ami Faye's spirit. Ami? Ami? Ami Faye's spirit? Army Fay? Who's that? Like, jeez, Mr. Smith, get with the program! Everyone knows the lady that founded the Curane channeling technique was Mystic Ami. Mystic Amaterasu. <laughs> um, you don't have to get upset with me. So, like, as long as her spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual power of the Fay family will stick around. Like, isn't that totally romantic? Um, romantic, huh? If that urn is really as important as she says, it could be a vital clue. Eni, I want to ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Gray's, remember? Is it this another one? Oh, that one. Like, you should have said so in the first place. 
so, like, I totally don't know anything because I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Well, that's not much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on. What a total bore. I, like, totally have nothing to do with this, like, murder thing. Oh, yeah. You only introduced Dr. Gray to Kurain Village. No relation, sure. Even if you were only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Furthermore, your sister, who died in that accident, was a nurse at his clinic. Alright then, why don't you tell me about your sister's fatal accident? Like, why? You think, like, it's got something to, like, do with the murder? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I can. Psyche <gasps> locks? Like, what is it? Looks like I'm gonna need something to pry her mouth open on this one. I don't think we have what we need yet, so we'll come back to that. That is very important, though. So there's a spirit in the sun, huh? Hmm, well I say you're a bunch of cracks. But I guess maybe the spirit could live in the space between the cracks? Hmm, looks like something's written on it. I am? Hmm, weird. Sacred urn added to the court record. Very important. Uh, if we go to the side room now... Nope, nothing yet. I believe we don't have the evidence we need to break open uh, those Psyche locks, so let's have another look around. Hey, Pearly! Uh, there we go. June 21st, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hey, Nick. I've been waiting. She looks so helpless. So? So? How was it? What did you find out? Um, well, I found a few things. Is it so bad that you can't even look me in the eye? I... I just need a little more time. It'll all come together by tomorrow, I promise. I'm sorry, Nick. Every time I see you, all I do is cause trouble. So how was it? Today's trial, I mean. You were fantastic, Nick! Every time I thought our goose was cooked, you managed to turn it all around. I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie. Don't be silly. You have to concentrate on the trial. We're gonna win this, Maya. Thanks a lot, really. Hey, Nick. The person who shot Dr. Grey wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. If that were true, then I'd be really happy, but... There wasn't anyone else in that room with the two of us, right? Well, did you check behind the folding screen? Um, I took a quick glance, but there wasn't anyone there. Hmm, that's exactly what Lotta said too. Um, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? Why do you think I didn't kill Dr. Grey? Because of something Mia told me. My sis? What did she tell you? She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. When you're channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves you. Now that you mention it... Wait, then, then, I really am? You are not the real murderer. I think that maybe before you even called the spirit, you were drugged. Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning. And you were set up to take the blame for killing Dr. Grey. That's... that's... Uh, I want to ask you something about Pearls? Pearly? What about her? No matter what I try, she won't answer me. I want to know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Huh? Wait, Nick. You don't think she did it, do you? No, no. Nothing like that. She'd never do anything like that, you hear me? Never! She's a great kid, and really cute, and really great, and cute. <laughs> Oh, mood. <laughs> I didn't really think she was the murderer. But she's definitely hiding something. Hmm. You were with her on that day, right? Yeah, the two of us. We were playing with her ball. A ball, huh? Sounds like a dead end to me. So, about this ball. It's nothing really special. Just a plain old ball. I think she was still playing with it when I started the channeling job that day. Carly really loves to play with that ball. 
She loves to play with that ball, huh? When she wants to get it, she always climbs right into the clothing box. The clothing box? Yeah. Holly's always hiding in there. You know the side room? There's a clothing box in there. It's really big, so once you see it, I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. The clothing box in the side room, huh? Okay, so we need to check out that box again. That's another two hour train ride. <laughs> oh, June 21st, Curane Village. Ah! Ah! <laughs> hey, wait, please, Lotta! <sighs> she ran off into the manor. June 21st, Fey Manor Meditation Room. Lotta. Ah! Hey, hey! I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. You yeah, lay eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. <sighs> June 21st, Fey Manor side room. I'm pretty sure I saw a lot of run in this direction. But it doesn't look like she's here. Okay, firstly, here's the ball. It's still Samurai Ball. I don't think Pearl knows about the Steel Samurai at this point because she doesn't know about things outside of Kurain Village. So I'm not really sure why she has, like, official merch. It's Pearl's ball. Maya said that it's always kept in the clothing box. So then, what is it doing on the floor? Pearl's ball taken. It's the clothing box where Pearl's ball is usually kept. I wonder what's inside. Yeah. What? What were you doing in there? What were you thinking? I'm a bad person, just another piece of human trash. You need a hole to crawl into. Oh, that's relatable. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that in case I need a reaction pic. <laughs> so you crawled into this clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into? Oh man. Huh? There's a small hole in this clothing box. And it's about eight inches off the ground. That's the same height as the hole in the folding screen. Then could this clothing box add to the court record? Yep. <laughs> uh, there's any, we don't have anything for you yet, so we'll keep going. June 21st, Fay Manor, meditation room. Oh, Mr. Nick, that person ran by here just now. What person? Um, you know, the person with the fluffy cotton candy hair? Ah, she means Lotta. She said, don't look at me with them eyes, but... I'm not that scary, am I? I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right, she also wanted me to tell you. Going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. Uh, oh. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, I think we have all we need to find out Pearl's alibi now, so... Let's do that. We've already seen the first little bit of this, I might fast forward it. Yeah, well, I'll fast forward it. Okay, so yeah, in the winding way... Take that! We were here, weren't you, Pearls? In the winding way? Wow! Y you got it! So, you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry, not yet. Man, oh man. Alright, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. D do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. Now, what was it Pearls was doing in the winding way? Why she was playing with this ball? You were playing with this ball, right? Ah, oh, that's right. How... how did you know? Maya told me that you love to play with your ball. Um, yeah, I was playing with my ball. Un... huh. Un huh? And then? <laughs> what? Phoenix, what are you talking about? <laughs> that line's so weird. Something happened, huh? 
something really bad? Wh what do you mean something? N n nothing happened. This is it. While you were playing with your ball, this happened. This urn. It's a village treasure, right? Ah, uh, um... And the spirit of the founder of the Curain Technique is sealed in here, isn't it? Y yes What's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? There's even a few gaps here and there. Um, please don't tease me. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? The ball smacked into it and knocked it over, right? And if Morgan found out, she'd get really mad, huh? She doesn't seem to be fighting back. I think I hit the bullseye this time. But it's strange that the lock hasn't broken yet. It's... it's a really old urn, isn't it? I guess? It's so old, so it's not that weird to have a few cracks. The voice is shaking. How can you tell that urn has been broken? Oh baby. She's so precious. Anyway, uh, the way we can tell is because her name is Ami or Ami or something, and not I am. Who started the Curane channeling technique? Huh? Oh, um, it was Mystic Ami. That's right. And how do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Uh, I don't know. It's spelled A-M-I. <gasps> I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on this urn. And that's how I knew that someone must have broken this urn. And made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together. Together again. Also, yeah, you can see that healed our health bar. Um... In the games with Psyche Locks, you have to break a Psyche Lock to get healed. It doesn't heal you between trials like it does in the first game. Around when Mystic Maya started the channeling on that day, I was playing in the Winding Way with my ball. And that's when you broke the urn? Y yes, I broke it. I, I accidentally let Mystic Ami's spirit fly away. Don't worry, Morgan will never know, okay? I'm a bad child. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. I thought that maybe they would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together and no one would notice? Yes. I found some glue and brought it to the hallway, and I fixed the urn there. The hallway? You mean winding way? Yes. Look at that precious baby. Protect. The channeling had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk by. Hmm, I see. So, about how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. Yes, I might be strong at spiritual things, but when it comes to arts and crafts, I am not nearly as skilled. When I finished fixing the urn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor. So that's around when Lotta and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed everything up in a hurry. Um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I'm... I'm gonna get banished, aren't I? I really don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, I bet Mr. Gammy's happy to be free from that cramped urn. Y yeah I hope so. No harm done, and a happy resolution. Whew. Hooray! Okay, so that's important information. Um, thankfully, Polly is very happy because Phoenix is good at thinking up excuses. <laughs> June 21st, Q Rain Village. Whew, I think I've found out everything I can. But I can't see how it all adds up. Hmm. And is Eeny Meeny being here just a coincidence? Hey, mister. 
how is it that the spirit Dr. Grey wanted to call just happened to be that nurse, and that nurse turns out to be Annie's sister? It's too... convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you! I wish I knew a little more about Amy, but where am I gonna find info like that? Oh, I get it. You can't be bothered to look over at trash like me. Is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? Ah, Lotta! Oh, so you finally noticed! But I heard a mosquito buzzing in my ear, although I couldn't understand a word. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You sure know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump of one around like this. Um, thanks? But you know, you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. What are you going on about? And as for following or chasing or whatever it is, isn't that what you're doing? Um, well, you see... Well, you're not exactly a real gentleman with a lady's heart, are ya? You're not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. Look, I'm really dang sorry about today. When I get all fired up about something, it's impossible to stop me. You hurt Maya really badly, Lotta. Um... I don't suppose you could forgive a gal like me? Well, I guess I can. You did help Maya out too, after all. For real? Yeah, for real. Oh, thank goodness. I'm still... I'm still... what? No, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Just talking to myself, you know? Gibberish. Now then, a lot of heart. At your service. I'll share with you all the dirt I've dug up. Thanks. Hey, don't be all surprised. I'll tell you what, I'll even give you all this info for free. Not not taking money? Now I know this one's an alien clone. If Maya is not the real murderer, then who do you think it is, Lotta? Well, heck, ain't it obvious? It's that occult freak. You mean Amy Meany? Amy Miney? Meany? Well, there ain't anyone else that could be, right? That granny, you and me, we were all together that whole time. So Lotta suspects Amy. Which means she might have already found some info about our mysterious Amy. Okay, so yeah, we need to ask her about Amy to get some more information. Heh, <laughs> that's Amy Meany, right? Yeah, I was wondering if you knew anything about this girl. You know, actually, I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister, she's the one that Dr. Grey wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah, I, ha I had heard as much. I had also heard that Amy was the one who introduced Dr. Grey to Kurain Village. You don't say? That's one sneaky gal, if you ask me. Hey, you want me to tell you more about her? Yes, please. Speaking of Amy, do you have any other information about her? Sure. Well, what is it? Hahaha. <laughs> It'll cost ya, and it'll cost a lot. Oh, silly me. Here I thought free meant no money necessary. That girl was hospitalized about half a year ago. Hospitalized? But why? Well, heck, you can go find out on your own. Huh? Here, I'll give you that- give you the clinic's address. Maybe you can find out something. Maybe? What's that supposed to mean? Well... See, actually, it was gonna be annoying, I reckon, so I didn't actually go there. Ugh. Well, that's the way the gumbo spoils, right? Spoiled gumbo sounds... Ugh. I mean, look, don't blame this on... Oh, never mind. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Better go check out this... hottie clinic. Oh, gosh, I need another voice. We'll see how we go. June 21st, Hottie Clinic, Reception. So, this is where Annie was hospitalized. Hmm, yes. Are you here to visit a patient, hmm? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, are you a doctor here? Hmm, yes. I'm Director Hottie. Ha <laughs> ha. Ack! I didn't know he was speaking with the director himself. Hmm, yes. So what can I help you with? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know if this voice is any good. <laughs> I'd like to ask you a few questions about Miss Amy Meany. Hmm, Miss Meany, Miss Amy Meany. Hmm, yes, hmm, oh, her. Ah, it's too bad. I'll tell you something. 
That girl left here a long time ago. Here you are, sir. Hmm? You know you shouldn't be up and about. Come on, it's back to your room with you. Mm, sweetums, calm down, calm down. Don't be so harsh for an old man like me. Don't you dare start that sweetums thing with me. If you don't behave, you'll get yourself tossed out of this hospital. Wow. I didn't think nurses could be this direct or forceful towards their boss. Come now, be a good boy and give me the director's white lab coat. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Hmm, yes. Um... Hmm, yes. Uh-huh. Don't hmm, yes me. Who in the world are you? I'm Director Hottie. <laughs> the nurse went off somewhere. Oh, the inhumanity. Only person I can talk to is this guy. Ugh. Yeah, we have to talk to this guy. <laughs> so, what exactly do you treat at this clinic? Hmm, yes, treat all sorts of doctory clinical stuff. Uh huh, yes. D doctory clinical stuff? Well, I actually know I particularly care about the details. <laughs> hmm, hmm, yes, what does that look for? Uh huh, yes, there's a really big general hospital around the corner. Hmm, yes. And they kind of accommodate everyone, they move some of their patients here. Uh huh. You do surgeries here, right? Hmm, yes, we do some plastic surgery here, it seems. Hmm. It seems? Hmm, yes, uh huh, it seems that way. What do you know about Miss Eeny Meeny? Now you're talking. Hmm, yes, that girl. She was transferred from the General Hospital. From the General Hospital? To here? What kind of surgery did she need? Hmm, yes, well, she needed surgery. It was really bad, really bad. So, what kind was it? Hmm, yes, well, no, no, you say that is something... No, I can't tell you. So you say with a happy smile on your face, Mr. Director. See, there's this thing about how doctors aren't allowed to talk about patient stuff. It's in all those TV shows too, right? You've seen him, right? Hmm, yes. I'm never gonna get him to unzip those broken zipper teeth if he's at this rate. There's got to be something I can show to this old coot. Um... A badge? Hmm, what's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now I'm investigating a murder. Hmm, hmm, yes. What is with your angry face? Violence isn't the answer. Hmm, yes. The trial is tomorrow, and I would really like some information from you. Hmm, is that right? Well, you know, I think I can let you in on a little secret. What's that? Hmm, yes, actually, I'm not the real director. Are you kidding? Anyone with half a fly's brain knew that. Eh? What do you mean? Do I have to explain this to him? Well, hmm, hold on. I'll give you something. Real information, okay? Hmm? I'm actually this clinic's C. I'm like this place's walking dictionpedia. You mean walking encyclopedia? Yeah, that. My speciality is in young, silky, smooth, haughty patients. There's nothing I don't know about them, but I get embarrassed talking about it. God, this guy's creepy. Yeah, how about you keep that kind of information to yourself? <laughs> anyway, I want you to know about Little Miss Eeny Meeny, right? Little Miss Eeny Meeny? That girl, I remember her especially well. Really, especially very well. God, he's so creepy. <laughs> Please tell me what you know about Eeny Meeny. Hmm, yes, I'll get to that, trust me, I will. That girl, that's right, she was transferred here from the General Hospital. This was, hmm, yes, a year ago. She was one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill? No, no, no. She was injured, not ill. With my trained eye, I could see. Yep, I could see it was a huge wound at that. A huge injury? The whole body was wrapped around and round in bandages and her arm was in a cast. That sounds pretty severe, alright. Hmm, yes. It was an accident. An accident. They're scary, yes. Cars, hmm, yes. Car? Y you mean it was a traffic accident? Yep, I thought gave her the terrible injuries. I swore it was in the papers, hmm. Yes, I looked it all up, I did. It was terrible, hmm, yes. 
Dare I even ask what is wrong with this old guy? Just now, you mentioned something about a big operation? Hmm, are you talking about Miss Amy's operation? Y yes Miss Amy's. That, oh, that was one heck of an accident. Hmm, yes, her whole face was burnt like bad toast. It was bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? Hmm, it's a good thing that Miss Annie had a picture of herself. I heard the picture was how they put her face back together. Hmm. Picture? That girl, see, she had, uh, she had just gotten a license. She just happened to have a license photo on her. Hmm, yes. Oh. So I say, I got her picture. There's a way to remember her, yes. Well, more like, swiped. Um, breach of ethics? Oh, wait. Bre breach, you spell breach incorrectly, it should be B R E A C H. Breach. <laughs> oh, what, a pretty girl like her? I bet she has lots of pictures of herself. Um, sure. It's a treasure, my treasure. Precious. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows, I didn't bother to ask. Probably got burned up along with the car. Hmm, yes. License photo to the court record. Um, so you looked up information on Eni's accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Hmm, yes. I read every paper that covered it at the time. What kind of accident was it, do you remember? Hmm, yes, hold on. I'll go get it for you. The article, I mean. Huh? Y you have it? Well, 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 don't get me wrong. I thought something like this might come up, so... Obsessive to the max. But I bet I could learn about, about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Ah, here we go, here we go. Hmm, yes. According to this, Miss Eames in the passenger's seat. The passenger's seat, huh? And dozing, or so it says. A strong jolt woke her up. The next minute, a sea of fire was all around her. Miss Eames fought with the door, finally got it to open, and somehow managed to get away. Any who? You can read all the details in the article. Hmm, yes. Newspaper clipping 2 updated in the court record. A new clue! I should probably look this over. It's been half a year since Bassini had her surgery and got better. She was discharged sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Hmm, yes. So how was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Hmm, yes. Y yes Th thank you very much? Hmm, yes. Well then, be, be getting back to my room then. Tell me seeing you, I said hi, okay? Hmm, yes. It's time for me to leave too. Hmm, yes. Ack! Okay, it's definitely time to leave. Oh god. <laughs> Back to the village. June 21st, Q Rain Village. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Oh yeah, so earlier that old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the police? She said she had something to tell him. Things are sure getting interesting. Ah, oh, but honestly, I tell ya, that granny sure got her bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It always starts out small, you know? Stealing the master's seat and controlling the village folk. And now you see what it's turned into? A murder, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on! What? That stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of, heard of it. <laughs> really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with gossip while I'm busy saving people, princess. <laughs> you said something about stealing the master's seat? Yep. Right now, the master is this medium named Misty Fay, but... The one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master? Do you know where Amy is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around that garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah. I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. So I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter? Turns out, that old bat is Misty Fay's older sister. Uh, oh. They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. 
Well, anyway, somehow Granny there lost to her younger sister, Mia. Misty. Not <laughs> Mia. Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sorts sort of things, too, like she's the oldest, and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Wow. I had no idea. So, what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the Branch family, I reckon. Okay, uh, we need to get some more evidence. No, we don't. We need to go find, uh, Amy, who is in the Winding Way. Apparently. June 21st, Fame Manor, Winding Way. Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? Let's find out her secret. Pretty good secret. Traffic accident. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? That's, that's, um, that's my lot of voice, huh? Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, oh, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep? And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Interesting. You just asked, whose accident? Which means... She must know something about another person's accident. I mean, it's either that, or, you know, she's just not very smart and forgot that we were talking about traffic accidents. You know? Alright, let's change the topic, though. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? I want to ask you about your own car accident. M me Yes. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, an accident? Uh, I believe we need to give, give over the newspaper clipping here. Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says, Ms. Eenie Meeny holds interview about crash. Ah! You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? L like, wait! What now? Th that's not me! Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Eenie Meeny, is, like, Pretty common. What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Mimi Mimi, is in here too. Like, totally wow. What a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting, like, goosebumps. Y you think I'm gonna let you get away with that? So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? I mean, yeah, I have this, uh, photograph. Look at this photograph. This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. Uh huh? So? There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fake director. Now you ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a sec. Okay, so, like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's, like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? Uh, and? That woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? You suppose the woman who died in that accident could be... I believe it was your sister, Mimi Mimi. Mimi. You were riding your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. Huh? 
Unlock successful. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I was riding. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home? I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then it happened. At the time, I grabbed my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke, I couldn't see anything. Oh. I'm sorry. Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give Amy a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so we nearly have everything we need now. Uh, we've learnt everything we need from Amy. Uh, June 21st, Q Rain Village. Looks like something's up. Stop! Stop! Leave my mother alone! A ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Oh, dear. It is perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please, let me go too! No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Oh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look, it's a real pistol. Detective, do not upset me further. Ah, uh, sorry. A cab. Poor Gumshoe, being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow. Mother. Mother. This has never happened before. Pearls. Mr. Nick. I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is gonna happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix. Anything. I'm terrible at this. Mr. Nick, what about... What about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya. She must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but... I can't just leave you here all alone, either. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. <laughs> okay, we need to go... I think Center. There we go. June 21st, 6.38pm. Detention Center of Visitor's Room. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Myra is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. If memory serves, Mia had a few psychologues of her own. Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure. I welcome you to try. Uh, yeah, all we gotta do is just... Come on, Phoenix. We don't have time to be looking at things like this. We need to find out everything we can for trial tomorrow. Okay, so I need to actually talk to her first. Mia. Yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. Yes. Why... Do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. 
Yeah. A battle of wits against Mia. Oh. Still a whole slew of questions we'd answer before the trial tomorrow. You mean, like, how did the real murderer get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means that the murderer must have gone into that room before the channeling. That's what I think, in any case. But Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's movements, we're stuck like a beached whale. Hmm. I never thought I'd see this day. Are you actually asking me about spirit channeling? In this case, it's all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into the person you're calling. It was something our ancestor, Mystic Amy Fay, acquired. I've heard that name before. The Fay family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Amy was born, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism. A Amita. Amitabha? A Amitabha? I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. To this day, her soul is still sealed in the Curane Sacred Urn. It usually sits in the winding way and has her name written on it. Um, yeah. Oh, come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. Uh, are you saying that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale too? Okay, it's like Alloc time, let's go. Take the murderer. Phoenix, you think I'm hiding information about someone from you, isn't that right? Yes. Alright then, tell me who you think I'm protecting. It's Morgan. It's protecting... protecting her aunt. Morgan Fay, of course. There is no one else who will protect like this, Mia. Well done, but... While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion on my, onto my aunt. Um... I can't remember what the evidence I need is. I think maybe the key? Take that! My evidence is this black key. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet, somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. There is only one person who could have done that while I was busy calling the police. The person taking care of Maya, Morgan. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? When did the key find its way into the incinerator? It could have happened long after the murder happened. Long after? Someone could have found the key somewhere and dumped it into the incinerator. But that's... That prosecutor would use something this small to shred your case. Do you have something other than just the key to cast suspicion on Morgan? Uh, this scrap of fabric? This is the other piece of evidence that points to Morgan as the culprit. I also found this in the garden incinerator. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. But this piece may not even be from Maya's costume. But this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both the key and this piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes? But why? I don't know why. But... There's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However... However? 
Like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You have to present solid proof of this for me. But I want to know, if my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Grey, who or what did she need? Eeny Meeny, she's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny Meeny were in cahoots. Unlock successful. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about Fay Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Eeny Meeny is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Grey? Why would she have to? Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eeny. He doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm. Then there is only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um, because? Mother. She's the one who holds the key to this. Mother? Who's? Mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Fay. Mia and Maya's mother? Why would she bring her up now? Isn't it obvious? Because she's the master of the cute rain channeling tradition. God. <laughs> now then. Looks like we've gathered everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. R right, Chief. We won't lose. And that's the end of that segment. Woo! Next time, trial. Part 4, one trial, in fact. That's it for this video, though. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, on with the trial. Uh, I believe this is the last segment of this uh, of this case. It's a two-part trial. You can see it says 4-1 there, but I believe it is the last one. So after that, we'll be moving on to the next turnabout. It's actually called Turnabout Big Top. Well, I like it. It's, it's a bit... It's a polarizing case, I'll say. I, I'll talk about it more later. Anyway, for now, we need to turn about. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.